Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 22nd, right? But timing is fluid, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for our message today? For me, these readings usually play out in a couple days. Everybody's different. Not every reading is for you. Mm, Knight of Cups reverse. So Knight of Cups reverse could be a broken engagement here. Withdrawn invitation, you know. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Withdrawing. Withdrawing an invitation or... Maybe there's been some sort of deception. There, obviously, we have somebody here that is emotionally unreliable. Six of Cups reverse. Now, we have some selective memory here. Somebody's clinging to a past relationship. They are clinging to a past relationship by the looks of things. A lot of memories here. Maybe romanticizing. Somebody may be romanticizing. You know, they're wearing some rose-colored glasses. There could be somebody from the past that is getting some unwanted attention. You know, somebody, it's like somebody, let me rephrase that is giving somebody in their past attention and this person doesn't want it. You know what I mean? It's like looking for a relationship. The other person doesn't want the relationship. It's like looking for love in all the wrong places. You know, it's time to let go of the past and focus on the future. Okay? That's what this is. The world card is about turning your back on the past and, you know, you got a new cycle ahead of you, a brand new life. Nothing stays the same. Somebody is clinging to a relationship where there's unrequited love. Okay? And I don't know what kind of relationship this is, but that is what this is. You figure it out. There's no romance here. If it is, it's not real. Okay. There's rose-tinted glasses being worn. You got somebody here that cannot face reality. And it's this is the cycle is over. Leave the past behind. Move towards the future. This is completing one cycle and beginning a new one. Somebody has learned a lesson, or they're supposed to be, from a past relationship. But this is clinging to it, you know, clinging to the past relationship when it's really time to focus on the future. Consider it as a success because it taught you a lesson. This is a lesson learned from the past relationship that you got into where there was uh, deception Unrequited love, a lack of emotional support. Uh, maybe somebody was a commitment phobic. They weren't really looking to be in a commitment. Consider this freedom. Consider this freedom from obligation from a relationship that, you know, probably isn't love anymore. We have somebody with the, with the Knight of Cups reverse has been sugarcoating situations. Oh, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. They're not communicating with me, but it's going to get better. That's, that's self-deception. There's lack of reality here. Accept reality. So anyway, this is the end of a cycle. Consider it freedom. And this is freedom from obligation. Maybe it's it maybe a change of residences in your future. 
It's definitely time to travel to a new destination. Clinging to the past is not going to bring you emotional fulfillment. This is clinging to the memories. Yeah, you're always going to have the memories. Every experience that you have teaches you something. And this is a lesson learned. Consider it a lesson learned. Somebody is obsessed with the past. Leave the past behind. And I'm repeating myself because somebody else keeps repeating their same mistakes. This is the end of an era and the beginning of a new cycle. But it will require you to let go of the past. Leave it behind you. Leave it behind you. This is delusional. We have somebody here that this right here is delusional. Oh God. Now the eight of cups reversed is pretending. It's pretending. It's not leaving. It's staying put. It's avoiding. Oh jeez. Um, come on now. You got to stop avoiding the truth. There's, there's a lack of self-esteem here, a lack of self-worth. There's emotional weakness. Somebody is pretending that, you know, they're not going anywhere because they think it's going to get better. Oh, my God. But, they, but deep down, you know, the Eight of Cups is about leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind. But this is reversed. Somebody's thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, not doing anything, staying put, avoiding confrontation, avoiding the truth. When wish fulfillment is right around the freaking corner. Seriously, the next card is the Nine of Cups. It's right around the corner, but because we have somebody here that's delusional, clinging to the past, you know, they're, they're hindering their own success while success is waiting. The world card's all about success. But if you notice, okay, behind the world card, behind the world card is the past. Leave it behind you. Just go. Stop wasting time focusing on this emotionally disappointing situation that's not bringing you wish fulfillment and it's never gonna. Somebody was dealing with a heartbreaker. Okay, this heartbreaker wasn't looking for a long-term commitment. You need a new perspective. You need to be honest with yourself. Accept the truth. It's all about the truth. And this is knowing the truth, but ignoring intuition. Somebody's been ignoring their intuition. They've been delusional romanticizing the past, the memories, the good memories. You got to be honest with yourself. A new perspective is needed. Oh, this is a no answer. This is self-deception. We have somebody here that's been deceiving themselves. You may need to say no. These are words. Say no. Say no. Say no. You're, some of you are saying, no, I'm not letting go of the past. Well, then you're going to stay stuck. Now, the magician is 
It's no answer. A lack of manifestation. You can't make it happen if it's not meant to be. You need to be logical. Somebody here needs to be logical and they haven't been. Somebody's been duped, right? They've been duped. They've been manipulated by an individual that is very cunning and clever. A liar. Somebody's been dealing with a liar. Somebody was lied to by an individual who's a very smooth talker. Extremely smooth. Very skilled at uh, the game of love. <laughs> Speaking it anyway. Very skilled. It's time. It's time to be honest and up front, up front and, and speak. Speak your truth. Say no. Say no. I'm not. Not going to be manipulated. I'm not going to be lied to. Anyhow. The world card is the end. It's the end of a journey, okay? It's the end of a life lesson. It will require you to be honest with yourself and accept the truth. So this is totally about accepting the truth and stepping into a whole new world, stepping into a new existence, right? Because that's what the world card is. We have somebody here that is basically holding themselves back. Don't hold yourself back. You know, that wreath is victory after sorrow. Yes, it hurts, it does. But victory is waiting. I think we have a relationship here where somebody is going to be told no. They're going to be told no. There's going to be a rejection. Or somebody may come to their senses. They may come to their senses and say, nope. I'm not doing this anymore. It's over. They, the pro card is the end, okay? It's the end of a journey. So this is the end. It's the end of holding on to the past. And staying put, waiting for an apology that's never going to come right here. Apology is not coming. This person is narcissistic. Knight of Cups reverse. Master manipulator with mirroring the magician reversed. Absolutely. We have a master manipulator here. Pathological liar. Somebody that is disloyal, that is very, very, very skilled at speaking words of love. Words are one thing, actions are another. The magician reversed. This is words, words, no action. No action. So we do have somebody that can speak the words, but their words do not match their actions. And actions speak louder than words. And that is the truth. So anyhow, it is a day I feel of realizing Okay, because this is a new idea, it's a new perspective. It is realizing the truth. So that's what's coming. Realizing the truth about somebody that has been clinging to the past, clinging to some sort of memories that they had. Ooh, this hurts. This is a pain, painful, painful separation. Three of Swords, painful separation. This hurts. Stabbed right in the heart. Seriously. This is stabbed. This hurts. It hurts really, really, really bad with the Three of Swords. This is heartache, grieving, mourning over a loss.
there's going to be a rejection. There is going to be a rejection. Or somebody has been rejected and it's time to accept it. You can't keep holding on to it. Oh my God. Three of Swords is painful. It's painful. It's a painful separation. This hurts. Somebody could also be receiving news because of the three, the uh, uh, Queen of Swords. This is a truth speaker. Somebody that delivers some news, delivers the truth. And it could be, it doesn't matter what sign it is, it could be anybody. We all have it in us to speak our truth. So somebody's going to be speaking something. Uh, their words and these words do hurt. Okay, they're going to be saying some words and these words do hurt. Um, it may push somebody, you know, to the point where they turn their back. You know, it's like, okay, it's finally over. You know, these words, they, they, they hurt so much. It's, it's definitely time to go. They're done thinking about it. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, this is this is something being taken away or going away. Somebody may have also received some poor counsel, you know, from somebody that is unqualified, you know, or you know, not qualified. You know, somebody that does sugar coating. Anyhow, the Six of Pentacles, this is abuse of power, you know, domination, greed, uh, somebody that um, is only does things for their own good, only looks out for themselves, may, may ask somebody to pay for something, you know, with ulterior motives. This is abuse of, of, of giving, you know. Abuse of power, abuse of generosity, strings attached, giving, you know, I'm going to give you what you want, but I feel like there's a lot of sugar coating here. It's not real. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Lack of reciprocation, one-sidedness. Somebody has been holding on to somebody in their past that is not reciprocating. When it's time to let go, which we've been talking about a lot. Why is it such a struggle? I don't understand. Well, I do. It takes time. It takes time to let go. It takes time to forgive. And there's lack of forgiveness here. We've got somebody who can't forgive. And they feel like if they wait, you know, and they cling to it, it will change. It will turn around. It's not going to turn around. No apology coming. There isn't. It's over. It's done. It's time to accept. It's time to accept that, you know, this heartache. Anyhow, the Six of Pentacles reversed is... Uh, I feel like it's something being let go. We have a lot of control here too. Not wanting to let go of control. Let go of control with, with these two cards. We have somebody here that doesn't want to let go of it. Their pride is in the way. Because when you can't let go of the control, then it's your pride that's really in control. So somebody's control, you know, their pride. It's their pride. And the Six of Pentacles reverse is about, is about letting go of something that you're not getting any any reward from you're not getting anything back in return you know it's like one person is doing everything the other person isn't doing nothing you know and there's no there's lack of balance there's lack of harmony it's not heading in the right direction stop wasting your time somebody's been wasting their time giving you know and it's heartbreaking it's definitely heartbreaking Where somebody is, is there's a lot, loss of resources here as well with the six of pentacles reversed and the magician reversed. There could be, there could be a, a loss of, of, um, well, that's a loss of resources. Could even be financial resources. Somebody could be losing their, their power. They're losing their, um, and that, I know I'm changing it a little bit, but, but ugh, with both of those cards, there could be a loss of money. Somebody could be losing their job. They could be becoming unemployed. They could be getting a, 
a no, you know. Um, The world card is a new beginning. It is. It's a new beginning. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end of an era. It's the end of discontent with that Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse is a sad situation. It is. It's sad. It's a, it's a lack of emotional fulfillment. That it will end. It will end. But you, may, you might have to face some heartache first because the world is facing that Three of Swords. Okay, so there could be there could be some heartbreaking information that is coming. I'm not sure what it is, but a three of swords is heartbreaking. Not going anywhere. Something isn't going anywhere. Now, the, the Knight of Swords is <sighs> something happening really, really fast. It's a, it's, a, it's a very swift movement, swift change. Needing to think fast. Somebody's going to need to think fast. Come up with a new approach. Come up, take action. Somebody needs to take action. They need to make a move. They need to move in a hurry. Somebody may, because this is like, this is the end. And this could be a change of residence. Somebody may be moving in a hurry. This is fast paced, fast forward thinking. This is, this is very truth. This is being honest. Okay, some sort of truth coming in very, very fast, accepting the truth very fast. Something could be happening really, really fast. This is solving a problem. You know, we have a problem solver here. This is somebody that is going to be getting some sort of new idea, Take, because that's a new idea, coming up with a new approach, taking a new approach going in another direction. You notice now, now this Knight of Swords is, is moving away from the past. It is. See, because it's this the lineup. So somebody is now deciding, this is a decision maker. They get some sort of notion or idea. So there's going to be a change to move away from the past. This is somebody that is a risk taker. that becomes logical. This is somebody that is very logical, comes up with an idea. Hmm. What is this Knight of Swords? Ace of Swords, accepting the truth, seeing the truth, getting clarity. Somebody's going to get some clarity. They are. This is clarity. They're going to see the truth. They're going to take their power back. That's the sword of power. So this is somebody taking their power away from a master manipulator. That's what's happening. I mean, the Ace of Swords is the new idea. It's the new approach. I, I just wanted to know. I just wanted to clarify what I was saying, and I got the answer. This is the answer. They're going to get the answer that they need that moves them forward. Somebody's going to get the answer that they've been looking for. Okay, in regards to an individual that has manipulated them and kept them stuck. There is definitely some information coming out that is going to move somebody away. It is. It's going to move somebody away from somebody that they have been clinging to that is unrequited love. It's not love. And this, I don't know what kind of relationship this is, but it's not a loving one. Okay, it's not one that makes you happy, whether it's at work or it's at home, whatever it is. Somebody has been pretending to be happy, but they aren't happy and things are about to change really, really, really fast. 
there is good. It feels like there could be some public news as well because this can be public recognition and this could be a public speaker. So somebody, there could be some sort of public publicity for if this is on a social or a or a uh, global situation. You know, it could be because the world could be global. Okay, there could be some global recognition of some news that is delivered that changes things really fast. Okay, there is going to be a fast forward moving energy where some sort of truth is either realized or delivered or communicated. Okay, this changes everything. Okay, um... There's definitely been some deception, and the deception is going to come to light. This is also awakening. So somebody could be waking up. You know, they're waking up to the truth. You know, they've been in denial, obviously. This is waking up to the truth, waking up, seeing the truth that it's time to go, and it's time to go now. This is it's time to go right now, right now. So somebody may be doing that. It's time to go right now. So anyway. That's what I got. Get prepared for some truth. It's all about the truth. The truth to be accepted. The truth to be realized. The truth to be coming out. Which moves somebody away. It does. It moves somebody away from a loveless, uh, tricky, deceptive situation. Good luck.